As a major proponent of storytellers, including all types, like this prolific one standing right here next to me, I'm here to honor laureates who are finding ways to improve and extend life stories. Way back in the 20th century, gazing down at his microscope, he saw some little bundles called chromosomes. The great physicist, Erwin Schrodinger, guessed they may contain a type of code script for a person's future development. Now, in, in my day job with Brian Grazer there at Imagine Entertainment, well, sometimes script and development issues, they feel like the most important things on earth. And yet, I'm here tonight with Susan in absolute awe of our next two laureates who are figuring out the genetic script issues that can harm our development. <laughs> Persistence is everything. That's my motto in life. That's certainly something I'm trying to instill to my children. They're like the best thing I've ever done, I have to say, having those two children. You know, that's the essence of biology, right? You want to pass on your genes. The way nature works is unmatched. And the way our cells work, the way our bodies work, they work just perfectly. No engineer, nobody could design something as elegantly and as thoughtful. Basically understanding how biology works, I mean, that gets us close to the essence of who we are. All of us have 46 chromosomes in every single one of our cells. There's 23 pairs of each, so two of each, 46 total. Those chromosomes tell you who you are, how long you're gonna live, what you're gonna do. It's really important that you have 46 chromosomes, not more and not less. Aneuploidy means the wrong chromosome number. A hallmark of cancer is that they have the wrong chromosome number. We discovered that these aneuploid cells, had, you know, they were extremely stressed and that all messes everything up. And it's not surprising. If you change the number of chromosomes, you change the number of copies of genes that that cell has, and it usually affects cells in a bad way. I think our work has led to a number of important insights and led us closer to an understanding of how gaining or losing chromosomes causes birth defects or causes cancer. Any news from the sequencing? Um, I got a sequencing back. You did? Oh my God, so yeah. we'll, we'll, yeah, we'll like know. Them. You cannot really explain these eureka moments of how, you know, how they move you and how they affect you. That's like the best feeling ever, right? I kind of feel sad for non-scientists who don't have that happen to them very frequently in their lives, you know? This sort of, oh my God, I get it feeling. That's the best. So for determining the consequences of abnormal chromosome number resulting from the missegregation of chromosomes. The Breakthrough Prize in Life Sciences is awarded to Angelica Amon. Angelica Amon lives by what she calls the grandma test. An idea has to be easily explainable to pique her interest. Making a discovery is the best feeling in the world. It's like Christmas when you were five. <laughs> the beauty, it's true. The beauty of experimental science is that these eureka moments are often shared with other scientists. And I'm privileged to have experienced this. I therefore share this tremendous honor with the many wonderful students and postdocs that I was fortunate to have worked with and my family who supported me in my endeavor to seek the truth. Thank you very much.